G'day folks, it's Admiral Revan here. Hope you're all doing well. And today, we got something in store for you. And believe it or not, we actually have this operation um, Aegis that I haven't seen for a while. We got Terrace Mark. Ooh, hello. All the most of the people from Asia. Uh, Hanan Suki, uh, May Twist, uh, Doc Capral from the RU. As well as uh, Hironin and also MKS Kurusu. Great bunch of people here in this group. So, Operation Aegis. Now, Operation Aegis, folks, is a tier 6 operation that has been remade with tier 6 to tier 8 mechanics. So, what can I tell you? So, what I can tell you is that this operation is still fun and engaging at the beginning with. You have to defend the smith, and also the shores, but um, if you do lose the, ca uh, the ship, you actually have to rescue the commanders from them, but that's from the shores in this case. Anyways. This battle has changed a little bit with the tier 8. So, as you can see, is that you're going to kill Kaze, Moko, and a few other things that have been thrown at you. Um, definitely, it's a little bit different to what a lot of people are used to. So, I'll talk to you on the fly how we're going to do this. So. The mechanics are simple. You have destroyed this fleet that's coming up ahead of you and take it out first. Not, not that hard to do. But it's a bit interesting because you've got a bunch of you know, mixture of tier 6s, 7s at the moment. And that's not too bad at all. So you start engaging them first and work your way across. I think my teammate <laughs> I think my teammate uh, uh, forgot to move. <laughs> Okay, now I can move. Ah, there we go. Awesome. So where were we? Oh yes, so you have to break up and engage uh, on these uh, tier 7s, 6 and 7s of the ships over here. Uh, notice that there's a new bunch of squads uh, that has been spawned most recently on the top left there. And this is a whole bunch of, you know, uh, tier 7s but looks with 6 and 7s up there so definitely go ahead and engage those as well too keep in mind though in anything that you see in this video can subject to change on the official release all right so when the official release comes uh, there's a lot of things do happen they do change yeah, from time to time so here we go making the way up there and just pushing up Eh, interesting. Oh, that's a good kill. I think there's an Agato in there. Not sure yet, but we'll soon see. Ah, and then there's an Agato. I almost aimed at the right spot. But yeah, our teammates are rushing in like very, very quickly against those ships. Um. A bit of a heads up for this operation. Don't rush in because um, they have changed it a bit. They have. So that's not too bad. And as you can see, one of our Mercos has just died um, pretty much right off the bat, unfortunately. Because, like, we need each other's firepower to deal with the liberties. What kind of animation was that? 
in a way. That's a bit of a strange one. But anyway, once we get the uh, Mayoko taken out, um, the Nagato taken out of the middle, I'm sure we can move on and you know, deal with it. But yeah, this is really different. Okay. So there goes the Nagato, which is fantastic. And work our way across. Oh, Akazuki died too soon. But that's alright. It happens. So, there's no repair mechanic in this one. Just letting you know. The transports that you got here that are uh, coming up right now. <clears throat> well, you have to engage those escort ships and take them out first. Once you got rid of the escort ships, the transports become free and, and you're free reign. And you can use them for whatever you see fit. And basically they'll come to you and you escort them towards the right hand side of the map which is fair enough but you you will initiate a bit of a different mechanic afterwards and that is they would uh, need to be defended against some battleships cruisers and destroyers from the incoming fleet so we'll show you that shortly let's just go ahead and take out these escorts first Let's see where we go. That's not bad so far. Nice, nice, nice. So far so good. Scoring some random hits. Which is good to see. One thing I've noticed though is that we don't have a uh, ship AI that appears from the bottom right hand corner. Maybe he'll appear after. These escorts have been taken out. We're about to find out. But we'll soon see. Yeah, I'm used to seeing something down that way. Oh, there you go. Okay. All of our secondaries. Okay. Well, we got our battleships coming. And so far, I haven't seen an, ally, an AI allied warship come into play. So that's alright. Anyways, we got a tier 8 Amagi. Two tier seven Nagatos. The battleships, as you can see, appearing on the top of the map here. That those ones there are the Yushi, Shenshin, and also Kyost Soto Totsu. Um, definitely take them out as soon as possible. That's uh, part of the secondary objective. It's not a main objective, but it should be a good opportunity for you to get some bonus points there. Let's see what we can do there. Not bad though. Very nice.
<laughs> it's actually pretty cool. All right. We only got like three ships left over. So we're going to have to make this count. If we take out these uh, ships, we're actually doing quite well. Oh, torps all over the place. So you got any aircraft fire coming up all over the place in this battle. But... It is pretty crucial to really do well in this fight and actually score some serious hits on the enemy, though. And it's important, though, because some people, you know, don't know what it comes to the mechanics of this battle. But it's okay. I mean, like, it's a learning experience from everyone. Ooh, Nagato is still standing. Damn. But it looks like there's only like three of us left over. Huh. It's actually kind of weird. I dropped my bombs. Like literally right on the edge. And yeah, it just it seems like the crosshairs were on it and there was a bit of a delay I guess. Good to see we're gonna score some good hits on that Damagi. Start moving the ship, the CV towards the wayside. And so far so good. And I'm the last man standing, oh cracky. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I defend the, the base as much as I can. But yeah, it looks like, you know, pretty good overall, this battle. No. I lost a squadron there. But it's alright. Not bad for a four-star achievement. But yes, that is pretty much Operation Aegis, folks. Good operation. Fun and engaging. Different. But, um... Definitely a bit of an eye opener. So there's no tier eights in this one. No, sorry, there's no tier nines against you in this one. But there is some nice tier eights, mixture, mixture six and sevens in there. But yeah, definitely worthwhile again uh, checked out. But yeah, folks, thanks for watching this, and um, definitely give it a like if you like it, or feel free to comment below and definitely have fun in the meantime stay safe and take care